when you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, uh, you're going to give up. If you think you're going to be a lot happier if you've got 2x instead of x, you're probably making a mistake. I mean, it, uh, it, uh, you, ought, you, ought to, you ought to find something you like that's, that works with that, and, if, and you'll get in trouble if, if you think that making 10x or 20x is the answer to everything in life, because then you will do things like borrow money when you shouldn't, or, or maybe cut corners on, on things that your employer wants you to cut corners on. Or, it just doesn't make any sense. You won't like it when you look back on it. If you're going to start a company, it takes so much energy that you know you it better overcome your your feeling of risk. You're going to run across a lot of rejection. I say this time in and time out. Be prepared for the rejection, no matter how bad it is. Don't let it overcome you or influence you. Keep on going towards what you want to do, no matter what. No matter whether your bills are paid, not paid. Someone says no a thousand times. Again, go back to be as enthusiastic on door number 100 as you were on door number one. You know, I had to convince myself that uh, I'm going to make it. You know, regardless of how people felt at the at that time, and what what it does is it makes it makes you feel like, well, it made me feel like um, there's going to be points that people are going to mistake my confidence for arrogance, because I've had to. They don't understand the process I went through, mm -hmm. and how much I had to believe in myself in order to make these things happen. I kind of, I feel like you can will yourself into a good space. Mm -hmm. like, things that are meant to happen will, and if you believe in yourself enough, you can help yourself learn. Most people think, well, I'll be successful if the economy works. I'll be successful if something happens. I'll be successful if I win the lottery ticket. Look, you're not going to be successful if you don't demand it. If you literally don't stake a claim to it and say, this is mine, it's important. You're not going to have it, I promise you. I know. I'm telling you from experience. I spent the first 25 years of my life like, like a spectator, watching other people get successful and then wondering why I wasn't. Success is your duty it is your obligation and your responsibility never ever give up you can change and you can move around but never ever give up i know people that are very smart they went to the wharton school of finance with me i know other people that aren't as smart and those people are the top people in industry today and the top they just were tougher they didn't give up. And the smart ones had everything on their plate. They'd always come in with the A-plus on the tests and the good boards and everything else. But when they ran into problems, they didn't know how to solve the problems like the guys that weren't as good. And it's very seldom that you see something other than this happen. So never, ever give up. I feel so strongly that the reason I'm here is I dreamed big dreams. I dreamed the kind of dreams that other people said would not be possible. I'm also living proof. This isn't a Hollywood movie. I come literally from the other side of the tracks. If you saw where I grew up, and we took a picture of it, the neighborhood, the setting, you say it's not, it's impossible that someone could come from there and get here. But it is possible. I think being a business owner is the hardest thing to do in this country. You take your money, hopefully mm -hmm. not your mother's money, but you take your money and you invest in an idea which is essentially investing in yourself. Um, but if you do it solely to make money, you're going to lose. And you really have to do it. And I know that a lot of people out there get up every morning and they hustle right. and they're driving in the car right now and they're on their way to a job that they may not love. Yeah. And I would encourage them just to stick to the grind. If, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe that you can overcome obstacles, if you don't believe you have the work ethic, if you don't believe you have the inner confidence to project to other people, it'll never happen.
project yourself to age 80 and then think back over your life and, and if, you're, if, you're, if you're 80, what are the, you want to minimize the number of regrets you have throughout that period of time. I'm not going to sit inside of a corporation for 20 years. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great.